with you man chilling man chilling so where we at let the people know where we at right now man for the people that don't know where we at we in the we in the trenches we in the jungle we in the bricks we in the project right man johnson and america street project we on johnson right now but okay. yeah. we on the project. Okay. So, uh, you famous for the, uh, you know, trapping out the, you know, sex, trapping out the cell phone, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, for a lot of people that don't know, um, you know what I'm saying, where you, where were you originally from? This, this area, right? Hell yeah, that's, that's where I'm from. What's up, bro? Yeah, that's where I'm from. That's why I grew up in Algeria, like that. That's, that's me, that's where I've been born at. Can you tell the people how significant this area is you know, to your music career? I should mean everything, man. To be honest, man, that's that's, that's where my pen come from. That's where my that's where my lyrics come from. Like, if 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 if, the, if I wasn't raised how I've been raised, or I haven't grew up how I've been grew up, a lot of my music to this day wouldn't be wouldn't be like the way it is. So that's where my pen come from. That's where my my lyrics come from. That's why I've been. That's where that's why I see and I did a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that mean a lot to me. Right here. What's up, y'all, boy? So you got anything right now you're working on? As far as any new projects right now you're working on in the music industry? Uh, shit, yeah. I, I, I really not. Yeah, I, I got a lot of, I got a lot of music I doing, but it really just I putting out singles and shit right now. Like a lot of singles that I pushing out and I getting together and I'm gonna shoot a lot of videos. But as far as the tip and shit, I ain't really gonna put out a tip yet, not right now. I just gonna really promote singles and, and push singles and see what people like and see what people want. And I'm gonna keep that shit pushing. But I got I got hundreds of music, hundreds of songs that I already got built up for my own. Word. I see you got a lot of, also a lot of traction from that. Uh, you just remixed the uh, Juvenile beat? Hell yeah, that arm um, Hot Boy GV. Hell yeah, them girls going crazy out that shit. Heck yeah, man. I know you been getting a lot of, you know, DMs or something about that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But really, yeah, really, really, I just keep pushing that shit, keep pushing and pushing that shit. And just keep letting people get to that shit, you know, because it's, it's a lot of shit that's bigger than Charleston, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep pushing that shit and pushing that shit. But yeah, that shit is doing what it's supposed to do. So you can tell us, who was one of your favorite artists growing up? Growing up? I, 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 Boosie, Boosie, like the younger, the Boosie. Like younger Boosie, like Lil Boosie. Yeah, like Lil Boosie. You feel not Boosie badass, but Lil Boosie. You feel like saying that's a lot of shit. I fought with I fought with Boosie, like um all this old shit and, and cash money, you know, like the old cash money, hot boys, like BG and Turk them, you know, I fought with them boys. Uh, yeah, like that. Really New Orleans music, man. I grew up off New Orleans music. I grew up that vibe. Why do you think? Why do you think that is? I hear a lot of art, a lot of artists, a lot of people from this area, you know, from eight four three Charleston. They like a lot of, you know, Louisiana, New Orleans music, you know, Louisiana period. That's it, cause that's it, like that's it. Grab it, like that's it. We we compare to them, like that's it. Of, that's it. Alike, like we got the same shit. Like look at the project buildings, like that's it. That's it. Look like the same shit that them boy got going on. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, that's it. A lot of everybody from around here really grew up off New Orleans shit. Like that shit just that. And when we go out there, them boys, them boys think we talk like Jamaicans and shit like that. But people from not from New Orleans or not from Charleston think we talk like people from New Orleans and people from New Orleans and shit. That shit just crazy, bro. Like, right, right. That shit just a light. So if you can give us speaking of that, you can give it people a little insight, a little history of the Geechee life, you know, cause a lot of people don't really know or not aware of really what the accent is. Yeah, that shit. To be honest, bro, that, that shit just, 
Like for what I've been understanding, like that shit come from back in the day, like that shit just ancient, like all the people that shit come from a certain that shit come from a certain country and shit like that. Like that shit that shit like rice and shit like that, like all that shit is for Gitchi, you feel what I'm saying? But for honestly for me, I really never tap into that shit and really never understand and really did a research on what that shit is. I just know like that's how I talk. Like that's just how I that's just how I grew up. You feel what I'm saying? That's just how that shit is. That's just how I talk. Okay. So so right now, who is one of your artists right now that you like and they're like, you know what, they really you really compare you're not even compare yourself that you really just starting to grow and really like for all the new artists other than Boost. Um, new artists. I feel like young boy. I fought with bro. I feel his vibe. I fought with baby. I fought with a lot of I fought with a lot of um Yeah, I'm the only two really dirt. I fought with dirt. I fought with Polo G. A lot of people but me honestly, I don't really fuck with nobody else fuck with me. Right, I feel that. And so, um, if if you had to collab with any one of those artists to make a big hit, who would you think would, would really do the best according to your sound? All right, though. All right, though. I don't really know how that shit. I I can't really say that because I wouldn't really want to do nothing with nobody if they want me to do anything. If they want to do something, then that's on them. But I ain't really reaching out to nobody to be like, hey, do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I won't come up off of my shit. I want to do my own shit. I don't want. I don't want to get off on nobody else's sound. I won't come up off of my vibe. Right. And so I got another question. Well, you know, it's a lot of talent in South Carolina. Why do you feel like South Carolina talent hasn't really reached mainstream? Cause every everybody want to be the man. Everybody want to be the one that get in that door. When it really don't matter who gets in the door. Like if one person get in the door. Somebody going, you know what I'm saying? It should be that person that should allow everybody to come through that shit. You feel what I'm saying? But I think people just scared of if somebody get in the door, they gonna shut the shit. You feel what I'm saying? But you know, if they real and they really like real, like how they say they are, then they'll let everybody eat. You feel what I'm saying? That's that's how I look at it. I don't really give a fuck who get in the door, as long as my foot in that motherfucker. I ain't tripping. Right. So. uh how do you feel about, you know, a lot of think a lot of the legends from downtown Charleston, you know, follow a lot of the speculations on, you know, like Killer Skip. Uh did you what did you was you a fan of Killer Skip? Yeah, I listened to I listened to a couple of shit. Uh, yeah, I fought with Killer Skip. As far as lyrics wise, bro lyric was a bitch. You feel what I'm saying? Bro be saying some shit. But yeah, bro, bro, push up though, I fought with Killer. Alright. Okay. So is there is there any do you think that would be one of the people you would probably would have collabed with? Yeah, yeah. I waiting on that too, to be honest. So. Okay. I waiting on that shit too. Wow, for a free killer skip though. For real, for real. Right, right. For so, sure. Probably a see this. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, yeah. so uh, uh, so who was uh, so I got a question. Who you think? You know, was you watching any of the battles or anything like that lately? Like what, like the verses? The verses. I see, I see Gucci and, um, I see Gucci and, um, and Jeezy shit. What you thought about the Gucci and Jeezy? Man, Jeezy, Jeezy perk, man. Jeezy ain't not supposed to go out like that, man. Jeezy What's play it? fuck up, man. Jeezy ain't supposed to him and like, I ain't gonna let nobody talk about my dad homie like that. Not in front of me, man. I feel like he should've done something. He really tested his character. You feel me? Even though he does say he changed, Ain't no way, man. Like, you still got, you still, you still a man at the end of the day. That man dead, and that's your homeboy. You feel like saying? He's trying to let no man ever disrespect somebody that you fuck with, and that's dead. You feel like so, would you, so would you have done the verses if you knew that Gucci would probably would have did that? Huh? Would you still have done the verses, even though you know, even if you knew Gucci would have done that? I mean, I feel like Gucci wouldn't even much have tell. I mean, if Gucci had tell him he been gonna do that, I would have tell him I'm gonna whoop his ass if you do do that shit. This is off the scrum, but you know what I'm saying? Like, if he ain't never had tell him and he still did that, I still would have whooped his ass at the end of the day. You still gotta get off, no matter how anybody do you. He test your character, you test, he test your manhood. You supposed to stand up behind that, you feel me? But to each his own, though. Right, I feel that. I feel that. So, what do you, uh, what about the Soldier Boy the Bow Wow? Soldier Boy the Bow Wow, that shipment that shipment's great. 
that's even funny. That's even entertaining. Oh, that's it. That's even entertaining. There ain't even really nothing I won't watch, but that's even entertaining. Why did I watch it though? But this shit was entertaining though. I thought the shit would've been whack. This shit entertaining though. Okay, I got a versus for you. Who you think would be a good, who you think would win out of versus out of Boosie and Juvenile? Boosie and Boosie. Boosie hands down. Juvenile hard oh, too, nah. Juvenile got some shit, but as far as me, Boosie, bro. Boosie got so much old classics and shit that Boosie, bro. So who do you think would be the best battle against Kanye West? I know, I don't listen to Kanye West. I don't even mind. I don't, I don't listen to Kanye West. So, what about who do you think would be your best battle against uh, NBA Young Boy? Uh -huh. What about uh, Young Boy? Young and Ace. NBA Young Boy, Young and Ace? Yeah. Probably Young Boy, Young Boy. Yeah, Young Boy will win. I have two rounds in the first Hey, Cholo, bro. <laughs> Cholo, bro. Yeah, though, I feel like Young Boy is sick. That's it right now, because. I don't know, man. I, I, versus for versus, I feel like you should do that shit when you ready to end your career. Not at the beginning of your career, you feel like saying? Because you still got more shit that you gotta do. And you probably would have had a hit after you do the verses, and people would have fought with that then more than the shit that you had on your verses. So you do that shit at the end of your career when you ready to, when you ready to finish, you feel me? But as far as right now, I don't feel like them boys should do that shit. All right, all right, all right. Oh, okay. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I grew up. I've been, I've been, I've been born. Like, I used to live in that house across the street over there, on America. That was I've been born at and raised at. And stuff like that. Okay. You know. So how was it growing up on America Street when you was young? Back in the G, man. That shit been, that shit been raw, man. I feel like. Damn, man, like, I feel like, man, I'm listening to a lot of shit, like, a lot of shit people in, you know, they don't do that shit no more, and they don't really, like, people got different rules now, man, like, this shit so fucked up, like, everybody want to be a killer, everybody want to be gangster, so it's all about being real, you feel what I'm saying, you know, real, real niggas don't even mind, yeah, a lot of real niggas who ain't even mind no killers, and never bust no heads. All the real niggas not going to school and shit like that. That's a real nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't just about being a killer, being a real nigga. Real niggas about your values and about how you, and your morals and your principles. I you mean, know? that's why I feel like a real nigga. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, so man, like we were saying, so why you feel like, you know what I'm saying, a lot of, you know what I'm saying, like you were saying, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of talent around here that just be wasted. Why you feel like a lot of talent just be wasted out here, man? Um, I know, man, it's just people, people do like certain shit, like people just don't, I know, it be wasted because, like, they don't want to, like, they all about pushing, I don't feel like it be wasted, I just feel like they take their time and they'll stop doing shit that they, you know what I'm saying, supposed to keep going with, but people got trials and tribulations that they go through, you know, but it is what it is, though, like, I know, man, if they waste it, they waste it, I just know I'm trying to keep going with this shit no matter what, you know, the ups and downs, but I'm going to keep that shit pushing, so I'm you, always be here. So where do you see yourself uh, five years from now? Huh? Where do you see yourself five years from now? Rich, rich. See myself oh. out, made it from around, yeah, man, getting the fuck from outside. I see myself five years, I'm blue, big ass house, my nigga street, ice street, daughter street, family street, so street, I just, yeah, I see that, I see that, I see that. And so what are, what are some of your, uh, your goals as far as like giving you got any goals of giving back anything like have you thought about hell, that? Hell yeah, hell yeah. I'ma always give back because that's where I come from. And I wish a motherfucker gave back when I was little or now, you feel what I'm saying? But I'ma do that hell yeah. I, that's that's all I care about really is the, the, the kids. You know what I'm saying? I care about the kids. I want them boy to grow up and 
see a lot of shit. Them boys see murders around y'all every day. Like, you just hear that shit. Like, a dog get popped two days ago, four people get hit. You see what I'm saying? Any child could have get hit outside. That's broad day. Like, that's why I'm saying I want, I'm going to give back. If I got to give advice, if I got to give anything, I'm going to give back. Regardless. For the people that don't know, uh, I see you wearing a shirt. What is Hez Gang and what does that represent? Hez Gang. Hez Gang is a group of, is a group of young, is a group of young niggas who, who, who grew up all together since they've been little. One died on Christmas Day and four more died every year after that. Six friends. Now, the only two of them left, including me. That's his gang. You know what I'm saying? The real niggas who, who saw that we're gonna stay together no matter what. Stick all the way together. They ain't gonna never switch up. Get together. That's what I do. That's what I do. His gang. That's what I do. Damn. Damn that's crazy. So, how did. This so might. This, all them boys get killed. Everybody get killed. That's probably get killed on. His ain't on this picture, though, but. These my brothers right there. Bro, I get killed in the crossfire and bro, I get killed. And he just died. That's my right hand man right So He just, this is my man, this is my heart. Bro, I just died last month. And I've been the last one. All I, well, two more left, but this has been the last one that really, this is my right hand man, that's my heart. This is my little brother and this is my brother too. Though, but this is my heart. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, all y'all was doing music together? No, nah, they ain't see how the kid they ain't that fuck with the music. I the only one that really out the whole clique. I the only one who really fuck with the music. Like, them boy push me. I like, and these three like these the men niggas that be like, man, get the you know record him, man. Fuck that. We gotta go in the studio today, like shoot a video, do this, that and third. Like that's what type of shit them boys been on. They ain't y'all no more, so it really only up to me to really push my dime self, you know. So you holding his gang down right now? Hell huh? yeah, I holding that bitch down, all the way down, all the way down. That's me. Oh, okay. So, uh, so, you, so, what are anything else that you're thinking about as far as like you want to say, as far as like you want to uh, accomplish in the music industry? Um, yeah. I'm sure you'll want a Grammy. Hell yeah, I mean, I don't care for that shit. That shit don't really mean nothing. I mean, I know my shit hard. You ain't gotta tell me my shit ain't hard. I know my shit hard. It's just on a simple fact that I even wanna make sure my niggas straight. That's all I wanna get from this shit. Is to make sure my family and my niggas straight and my daughter straight. That's all I care about. The rest of that shit, if it come with it, it come with it. But I ain't pretty up for that shit. So how do you feel about the industry as far as like, you know, uh, CD versus back in the day, as far as it was CDs, now it's streaming. Do you feel like it's are you making money? You like yeah, feel like yeah. it's better I feel, for like, I feel like it, I feel like it way more money now than back in the day. But them CDs used to be popping too. CDs stopped in 2015. If you like, like that's it. I've been selling CDs like a motherfucker, like. But that soon, like 2015, 16, start like that shit just shut down. Like, ain't but no more CDs, no more nothing. Just streaming. Like you ain't even like. You can't even find a CD player in the car. Like, that shit just straight Bluetooth and you know, everything off your phone. You got to have that shit, iTunes and shit nowadays and YouTube. That's the main thing. Everybody fucking with You like, that's all they fought. Hell yeah. So, uh, is there anything that you feel like as far as like big artists coming down here really doing collabs with uh, <laughs> artists down here? Do you feel like it's a problem with that? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Get it how you love. If them boy won't do, if them boy won't do shit with them boy, let them boy like you know what I'm saying that shit. That's what it is. What it is. I feel like I look at it like if they get that, if they get that feature, however them boy do that shit, that's dumb and they blew up off that shit. That's a good thing. You feel what I'm saying? But right. as far as me, I don't want to press up over a nigga and be on some shit like, hey, bro, let me get a feature, cause me, I won't come up off my damn self. I don't wanna come up off the next man, cause I don't want nobody to ever say, oh yeah, he had that feature with Wooty Woo, or he had that feature with this person, and he blow up, that's how he blow. I want nobody to be like, man, bro, I blow off of his shit, and he come up as his own artist. I don't know why he 
And I feel like that's what they missing now, dear. Like, that's what the Charleston artists are missing. Now. We can come up by ourselves. We don't need these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't need the industry. Let's kick that bitch down ourselves as a whole. We got our own accent. We got our own, you know? Let's kick that bitch down and let's do this shit and run that shit. Let's have our, let's have our run. Let Charleston have a run. Why do you feel like, well, I do feel like, uh, it's getting some rec. Charleston is getting some recognition now. Yeah, really? Why do you feel like it's picking up so slow? Cause it, everything take time, man. All this shit take time, and never, nothing, never need to be rushed up. Need to be fast forward. You just gotta take that shit. Everything take time. Let that shit marinate and let that shit be right. Mm -hmm. Maybe it ain't our time yet. I mean, maybe the shit right now we ain't. But you know. We gonna get there. Let's chill. We gonna get there. All right. So, what would you advise to any new upcoming artists right now coming up in the music industry? Keep fucking pushing, nigga. No matter what, no matter what a hater say, no matter what a bitch, a nigga, or anybody say, a baby, no matter what I say, keep fucking pushing, bro. All right. Don't stop. As soon as you stop, everything stop. Keep pushing. Word. And if you stop, get your ass back up and keep going. Never stop, be on pause. Don't stop it, be on pause. Then keep that shit going. You know what I mean? Alright. Okay. So, if you can name, is there any um, other artists that you know of that's from this area? Ron, like this, like this project? Yeah. Hell yeah. Everybody rap. <laughs> right. Like, really, like, yeah, everybody rap, bro. Like, that's it. That's it. Everybody want to rap. Everybody rap. Everybody trying to get their name out there. Like, that's it. Everybody rap, bro, bro. Yeah, you got Heads Gang Real. You got, you got a lot of niggas. You got, man, I don't want to call it name because them boys, you know, you're saying them boys be in the real life street shit. So. That's it, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, everybody rap, bro, from around y'all, bro. They going to get their chance, bro. Just nobody don't want to take it serious because everybody want to. It's stuck in this shit, and this shit, this shit is hell. This shit is a, this shit is a fucking curse. This whole shit, this area, this shit is a fucking curse. For real, this shit is a real life crab in the bucket house hood. You're right, man. You got some real niggas, but you got some fake niggas. That shit doesn't like that. I right, saying I can't sit up here and say this whole shit real. I mean, then I'll be lying. You know what I'm saying this whole shit ain't real. You got some flam ass, clown ass niggas, but that's everywhere. That's every hood. You know. Oh, okay. Is there any artists that you were looking at in South Carolina that you like other than Charleston? At Columbia, uh, Greenville? I know. I ain't even, uh, no, hell no. Nah. I don't listen to nobody like outside. Listen, my people's put me on the ball. I don't know. I don't really be listening to outside. What's up, Quail? Okay. <laughs> no, you good. You good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So how long how long you was out here, man? How long were you, were you out here in this hood, raising this area? Yeah, it's my old 24 years. I ain't get out the ports till like 17, 18. Alright. Uh, I've been in this hood forever, bro. I've been born and raised. No badass nigga, man. Like, I ain't come up. I ain't about to sit up here and come up and say I've been a badass nigga all my life. If you're like, I'll be lying like that, too. Yeah, I saying like my granny had me right. Like, I had been raised in the church, had me a church. I gone to school. It's just certain situations and certain shit turned me out and make me to who I am right now. You know, that's just how it is. That's life. I mean, life make, life change you and you know, in ways that you ain't even much what I want. But that's just how it is. How it is. Okay. That's real right there, man. Not wrong with that. So, uh, anything you want to say, make sure you shout out Respect Music TV before you do. Uh, all right, that's a bit. So, anything you anything you want to say before you leave, man? Man, shout out Respect Music TV. Keep following Heads Gang, JV, JV. However you put it, but make sure you put JV in that motherfucker, Heads Gang, JV. And follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram at official Heads Gang, JV. Follow me on Twitter at Heads Gang JV, Snapchat Heads Gang Jim, Facebook Jimmy Walker, Facebook Heads Gang JV, all that shit, man. Give me on iTunes, all that shit. And shout out Respect Music TV again, man. Yeah.
Word. Them boy come out in a hood for a nigga, you feel me? Like real shit. 